one system helped create another one. RJ, uh, who is a genius at these electronic uh, things, came up with the idea of the intuition. And the intuition basically is an iPod. Now, as he explained it to me the first time I heard about it, an iPod is nothing but a hard drive. And being such, all that a black box is, is a hard drive. So since RJ was one of the 11 original people at Apple Computer for the Mac and was involved with the uh, iPod, he thought about putting together a system where the iPod could be used to record all of the engine instruments, all of the airframe instruments, the navigation like, uh, for example, the GPS, and tie that into a unit to make an electronic logbook for the pilot and the airplane. Now, we discovered some other unique things about it, and that is that a student could take the, his iPod home, plug it into his computer, and relive his whole flight. And in doing so, he could really learn a lot about his flight through graphs and charts, or how he was climbing out, what the temperatures were on the airplane, how he flew his course on the GPS, you know, just to improve all of his skills. A non-student pilot, of course, could use it to keep track of where he took off from, what his cruise speed was, what his average fuel burn was, and so forth. So it was an electronic logbook for, for the pilot. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. On the uh, airframe side, it became an electronic logbook for the aircraft itself, to the point that a mechanic can take the iPod and plug it into his computer and do preventive maintenance. Before any problems arise, he can say, you know, let's keep track of number three cylinder, let's watch these temperatures, or yeah, it's time to clean the injector on number two. So anytime you have that kind of information, you're going to save a great deal of money. It's, it's cheaper to save it now than it is to let it go to a full-blown problem. Now, we had another system that we had put in the airplane, and that was, I had come up with the idea of putting a camera in there and we mounted a camera much like a gun camera in the wing. But being a true TV camera, you can leave it on for your whole flight. You just turn it on and there it is. Everything that's in front of you, you see. There are no blind spots. So as a result, you don't have to S-turn while you're taxiing. You can see everything right in front of you. In fact, at Oshkosh uh, two years ago, as I was taxiing in, I had one of the line guys come up, came running up to the airplane, wiggle the aileron to get my attention, and gave me the motion to be S-turning, so I was looking in the front of me. And um, when uh, I didn't do that, I called him over and pointed to the TV camera. And uh, it just worked out great, you know. And once he saw the TV camera, he realized I didn't have to S-turn. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Some of the things we discovered about this, which were after uh, thoughts to it, was I discovered that climbing out and letting down, I could see everything in front of me. There wasn't a blind spot. So coming into Sun and Fun last year, I had a friend of ours, Jose, Jose Gilbert, riding with us. And I said, Jose, I said, look outside and count how many airplanes you see. And he counted nine. I said, now look at the monitor. And he came and he looked at the monitor and counted 13. So it's a tremendous safety factor that can be used by all airplanes. One of the other things we discovered was that going into a hazy day, the filter in the camera eliminated about 50% of the haze. So, you know, just another added benefit. That's gonna be standard in the Fury, but we also have 
uh, several other manufacturers talking to us about getting that system, having us build a system that they can buy uh, for their manufactured airplanes, for new ones. Because it's, it's got the capability of satellite TV, satellite radio, satellite weather, FM radio, plus your iPod music. So uh, it's an entertainment center besides being a data center. Uh, you can also, and this is one of the things I like, you can also film from the iPod, or from the camera to the iPod. So when you go up and you shoot your buddy down and he doesn't believe you, pop your iPod out and send him a clip. The Fury has all the neat toys, besides being a fantastic airplane. But the intuition system is a system that's going to be available for the aftermarket for your airplane. It's also going to be available, as I said, several manufacturers are talking to us about working a deal to get it for their manufactured airplanes.